We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star linebacker James Nesta, who signed with the Oklahoma Sooners. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. Before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player, and you need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. Here's this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes. He's ranked 20th in the class among linebackers, 39th in the composite, four-star prospect, six foot two and a half, 210 pounds, and we're enrolled with Oklahoma. 21 offers, Miami, North Carolina, some Power 5 programs. After him, we played in the All-American Bowl. We don't have a scouting report, but... Looking down at the timeline here, we're locked in with the Oklahoma Sooners going over here to On3. Rated as a three-star with ESPN and Rivals, but a four-star with On3 ranked 29th in the class among linebackers. And they got him listed at 6'3", 215. Miami was after him. Some other schools here, USC, Kentucky. Power 5 programs were after him, trying to get him signed. That being said, let's Take a look at the highlights. We got four minutes and 14 seconds. Let's see what these Sooners are getting here. And let's see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let's let it roll. So outside here looks like in coverage. Coming up, collapses play. We get low. Good pop. Good stick. Here's the next one. Good pass rush skills. We got some quickness there. Coming off quick, good read. Good read, good quickness off that. Here's the next one. Coming off. Getting to the ball. Looking solid. Here comes some pullers. Got off the offensive lineman there pretty good. He's quick. He moves quick. Very assertive. He's taken on bigger offensive linemen who's got length. Look at 73 there. And he's able to get off them pretty good. I know it's not like top tier power five prospects or anything. But it's a gauge. He's quick. I mean, he's thinner framed. But he's got a frame to where he can grow into that. He's tall too. <coughs> so he's in a so he's got a body frame where he can really swap down passes. He's got a frame where he can add mass very easily. But that quickness you can't teach. That quickness you can't really build up. Look at that. Assertive. Assertive player, I'm saying that much. Coming off the edge, he screams off the edge. He screams off the edge. If you scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream type deal. Just screaming. There he is. He's an ice cream player. He just screams off the edge. He's going to chase him down like a gazelle. So he's good in pass rush. We saw him coverage a little bit, but it was a very small sample, but still. We saw him be very aggressive on some tackles. We saw him peel off some blocks on some bigger offensive linemen with good reaches. Unless we scouted those offensive linemen, we, we don't know really the composi composi competition they were going up against, but still. Look at him, tra tracking him down. That's what you're getting. You're getting speed and quickness coming off the edge. A lot of pass rushing. In my area, they don't they don't throw this much. Must be some good quarterbacks where he's at. Gets the sack. You can't make a mistake. You can't me mess up your blocks or have a bad snap or something like that. A guy like that is so quick. Good reading off the edge with the containment. Some nicer schools. Into the quarterback. 
Plays in a hurry. Assertive. That length helps him. Like, you go to try and block him, your his arms are out there before yours. It's not compact. Now we're in coverage. Not just in coverage, but step for step. Here we go again. So we got a bit of a coverage linebacker here. So you're going to the SEC. You got teams like LSU, Alabama, who get good wide receivers. Now you're getting a linebacker here that can cover. That can cover. I get it. It's small sample. It's highlights, and it's a small sample of that. We saw the quickness of him screaming down the edge on the quarterbacks constantly. He was on their back, breathing down their neck constantly. Now he's in lockstep with wide receivers, moving with them in coverage. That was in the back end of the highlight package. He's had some nasty tackles. He peels off blocks very good. The upsides with this kid, especially with the quickness and his ability to to play the pass, be good in coverage, or look good in coverage at least. He looks good in coverage. He does. He plays stride for stride. You're not seeing that from many linebackers in this class. It's not in their highlights where they'd show it. Or they'd show it. He did. He's saying, hey, I can do this. I got the speed. I got the quickness. He does need to add size, but that's going to be granted. That's obvious. You're going to go to Oklahoma. They're going to make you do that or get out anyways. So, you got speed, you got quickness, you can scream off the edge, and you can also be good in pass coverage. So, if they need you to wheel out there to get to that wide receiver in the slot, you can do that, and that can disguise some things for you. Is he going to blitz? Is he in coverage? That quarterback's got to take account for that because you don't know what he's going to do. That's going to be a big deal because he's got that speed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.